You're watching Local 10, home of Local10.com. WPLG Local 10 News at 5.30 starts now. Heart disease is the leading cause of death in the U.S., so we have to take it seriously. A lot of folks are now undergoing stress tests to see just how healthy their heart is. Our own Christy Krueger has a look at the benefits and limitations and who should consider getting one. Robert Rubin is no stranger to the dangers of heart disease. His father had a heart attack at the age of 40, and Robert himself was diagnosed with diabetes at the age of 50. Those two factors led me to uh, seek out a cardiologist and start testing, uh, doing stress tests every year. Rubin was reassured by stress tests that showed no signs of heart disease. But after suffering chest pain last fall, he learned one of his arteries was 99% blocked. If I take the stress test and it shows nothing, how sure of that can I be? A stress test is a non-invasive way to look at the function of the heart. So very often patients will say, how do my arteries look? A stress test doesn't look at the arteries. It looks at the response of the heart to exercise. Now this can be done with a mechanical stress test where the patient runs on a treadmill while hooked up to an EKG, but that only picks up heart disease 85% of the time. Stress tests that implement imaging techniques along with the exercise component are 90 to 95% accurate. You know, we live in an era of cost containment and very often the insurance company will resist it. In other words, start with a normal stress test and see how they do with that. And then if there's further questions, we can go further. Dr. Bush says age is not a factor when it comes to determining who should undergo a stress test. If you're a 30 year old diabetic who smokes with a bad family history, it's probably time for a stress test. On the other hand, if you're a 70 year old that's fully active with no limitation, th there's no reason why you need a stress test. With your health news, I'm Christy Krueger, Local 10 News. And I've never heard of this, but Christy tells us patients who cannot exercise can undergo a pharmacologic stress test where medication is given to simulate movement, a movement that is 90 to 95% accurate.